Hi! So, with my next book being launched this weekend, I figured it's probably time for me to talk about why I do what I do. So what is it that I do? I write music, I publish music books, I make tutorial videos, I record music, bit of this, bit of that, bit of something else, but it's all tied up with music. I had my very first piano lesson around the age of eight. I got my very first instrument on my very own. For my 12th birthday, my dad gave me a nylon string Takamine guitar, which I still have. And over the years, I've dabbled in a lot of instruments. I've played guitar, I've played piano, I played cello for a couple of years, I played trumpet for, for a while. I still play concertina. I have two Irish folk harps that I used to perform and teach, and I still play occasionally. Plus my beautiful ukuleles, plus my beautiful tenor guitars. Um, I'm sure there are other instruments in there that I can't remember. The only instrument that I never really took to was flute. Tried flute when I was 12, couldn't get the breathing right. I just, all I would do is hyperventilate. So I'm guessing I learned a long time ago that strings are really my thing. Although I do love concertina, but hey. So why do I do it? I mean, now you know what I do. Why do I do it? And it's really hard to explain because it's something that I've always done. And it's always been my go-to thing when I'm having a bad day, when I need a lift, when I need to hide from the world, when I've had a breakup or a bad day at work or really any time I just need a bit of me time and, and something to focus on and something that makes me feel good, music has always been there. I tried to give it up. I tried to give it up several times because music is amazing and it's fulfilling and lots of other really good possible stuff, but it can also be really frustrating and It does bring me joy. It brings me more joy than I could possibly tell you. But the frustration is real. The struggle is real. But that has a lot to do with me because I know the standards I set for myself are a lot tougher than the standards I set for everybody else. And that's probably like you too. You think, why can't I be better at what I play? Why can't I just learn this piece quicker, faster, better, more accurate, whatever? So, if my music was a Facebook status, it would be, it's complicated, okay? It's definitely complicated. But it's also something that I can't walk away from. I tried to come up with the words to describe how I feel and the hold that music has on me. And the only thing I could come up with is really, really corny and really, really cliche. So I apologize in advance, but music really does feel like it's my calling. It's not something that I can walk away and never go back to. Trust me, I tried. So basically, I do music because I don't have a choice. I write music because I really enjoy the process. Although I let into a little secret, writing music and playing the stuff that you've written can be two very totally different things. It depends on the writing process, which is a subject for another video. But I love to compose, I love putting my books together, I absolutely adore listening and seeing somebody play my music. It's a real thrill. It really is. It's never going to get old. Anyway, I probably waffled on for way, way, way too much. But you know what? If the internet fell over tomorrow, never, ever, ever to be resurrected, I would still be here 
in my little studio, playing my music, writing my music, surrounding myself with music, because it's not only what I do, it's who I am. Why do you do what you do? Why do you play music? Why do you practice? Why do we put ourselves through these things? Please leave me a comment below because I'd really, really, really like to hear. Until next time, stay safe.